So this is minus delta L. Plus. And this is plus minus. Then we will have a minus potential energy. Okay, let, let's just see this. This is original mass inside of the tube with the length L, area S. And this is the density increase. And this is the sectional area, therefore no change. And this is the amount, uh, this is the uh, change of length, so that is L minus delta L. Then this has to be plus, right? And then this has to be plus. And then this has to be plus, all right? It's a little bit confusing. <laughs> when I write the book, I was confused too, so I changed the notation several times. I mean, depending on the concept you, you have. So anyway, this is the potential energy, okay? If you look at the potential energy term, it's totally depending on the pressure, excess pressure and the density. That makes sense. The, if you have the water that has rho zero, which is 10 times bigger than the density of air, and that has more potential energy must, but in this formulation it has less potential energy. Why? Friction? I am arguing that the rho zero of water is much, much bigger than rho zero of air. Now, according to this formula, the, the potential energy of water tends to be much, much smaller than the potential of energy that I can store in air. Is it right or wrong? What about the C scale? Okay, C square has this form. So, you have an answer? <laughs> so, if I ask you, suppose I have same amount of pressure I can use to compress the unit volume of air and water. Okay, suppose I have a balloon that contains air. Suppose I have a balloon that contains water and I compress it. And I measure the potential energy stored in the unit volume of air and water. Which one is bigger? Which one is bigger? That is typical, again, question that you will meet in the quiz. OK? Or if I say there is a string, OK? 
and that has one is has tension TL, and the other one has tension 2L, and I lifted it with the unit displacement, then which one has more potential energy? Okay? That's what you have to study. So, as a conclusion, the energy density we have is composed by two components, potential energy and kinetic energy. for one dimensional case. Okay?